Today we have with us Anna DeMello of the Bridget Institute of Home Nursing at Aldona. We're very happy to have with us Anna because this is a very unique course in Goa which is supported by the government. So I'll go straight to the questions and ask Anna, what is this all about? Caritas Goa runs a home nursing course at St. Bridget Institute, Aldona, and it was a donated property by Suarez family. It is a one-year diploma course in home nursing, which is affiliated by Government of Goa. We are running this course very successfully since 2006. So, uh, since 2006, that means it's almost, what, uh, 12 years now that you're running it. Yes. This is a, a professionally trained group, right? Right. So, Tell us a little bit more how you use the word professional. What is it all about? Yes, we have uh, we have we have divided this course into two: practical and theory. Okay, for theory classes we teach them fundamental of nursing, pharmacology and uh, microbiology, dementia, Alzheimer, nutrition and hygiene. So, uh, since you are talking about uh, the practical side of the course. Uh, rather the uh, this is theory. Uh, yeah, theory. What about the practical side? Practical, we divided into three parts in a government hospitals. Three months they are there, then one month in old age home and one month in a private homes. Seven months theory and five months practicals. That's a lot of training. Yes. That's a lot of training. Yes. Okay. Now, uh, what is the eligibility for this? I mean, uh, should somebody be a graduate or a standard, or what? Uh, what is the eligibility? Tenth and above. Tenth and above. Tenth and okay. Above. So, in your normal situation, do you get many tenths, twelfths, or graduates? Mostly, we get twelve standard. Twelve. Okay. And uh, what is the fee for the course? Uh, we just charge them nine thousand five hundred for the for the full year course. And uh, the students, they are aware of a scholarship from social welfare. And those stu uh, the students who get the scholarship, only those who are goals. Uh, outstation students, they don't get the scholarship. But Caritas to give them a loan, like without an interest. And during their internship period, when they work, when they get their salary, they do pay this loan back to Caritas without any interest. So what you're really saying, uh, Anna, mm -hmm. is that this particular program is totally funded by the government. Right. And uh, they get this money, which in turn is given to you right. to fund the whole course. Now, students coming from outside Goa, yes. are there many? Yes, many. Many students? Many students. From which, uh, from which uh, stage do they uh, come? Mostly we have from Karnataka, Maharashtra, um, Dadra Nagar Haveli, Gujarat. Okay. Yes. And those students, when they finish the course, do they stay in Goa or they go to their respective states? No, they stay in Goa because after they complete the one year course, they have to do their internship. That is of one year. And during this one year time internship, we shuffle them. They get uh, four placements, I mean, four half families, patients to look after. And so we shuffle them after three months. And uh, after they complete their internship period, they still work with us. And we have many senior nurses who are working with us for five, six years. Oh, wow. Uh, and uh, what is a typical day in your institute for these students? A typical day, just give us an idea. Uh, yeah, we start a day. You mean during the class? Yeah, yeah that's right. We, have, we start a day with the uh, assembly. Uh, scripture reading and then they have a national anthem. We do have a reflection on the scripture reading taught for the day and then after the national anthem we do practice, revise every day the fundamental exercises. Suppose I need to avail of your service say for my grandfather, yes. for example. How do I go about it? How do I have to approach you? Because I, if I know you, then I can approach you. But otherwise, how do I do it? Okay, you have to. Our head office is in Panju, Caritas Goa. So you have to go there. Uh, we have our rules and regulations. First, you have to read the rules and regulations. And if you are agreeing to that, then you always uh, enroll for the nurse. And when the nurse is available, uh, I do the home study. 
Tara home study. And then if the result is positive, I mean they are coming and uh, uh, everything is okay, and then the team assigned the nurse for the patient. You said several things in this now. You said about terms and condition. You said about you visiting the family. Then only it will be done. So what are these terms and conditions? Okay. The nurse, uh, they have to provide a nurse a bed, a food, and a com I mean food, yeah, yeah. whatever, uh, morning breakfast, lunch, dinner. And uh, she also gets a weekly off. Okay. Sometimes the family, uh, this is what they have to read first okay. when they come to enroll for a nurse. Okay. And if they agree to this, then they okay. enroll for a nurse. And then you said that you have to go and visit the home. Yes. So what will you do at, at that visit? Okay, I check the patient's history, uh, the ailment of the patient, and I also check who all lives in the home. For example, if the male patient is a male, and he has only son living with him, we don't uh, provide a nurse for this family. Oh, I see. Okay, yes. all right, okay. Uh, and just uh, for the security of the Yeah, nurse. naturally, naturally. I understand that. Okay. Now, uh, so you agreed to give me a nurse. How much yes. do I have to pay the nurse? You have to pay directly to Karita's office. Okay. That's 11,000. Then the nurse gets, we just ch uh, take 10% uh, of it and we pay 9,900 for the nurse. To the nurse, okay. And uh, can I keep the nurse uh, for a long period or is it a uh, fixed time oh, contract? No. It's, uh, the term is of only three months. Oh. Yes, and after three months we do shuffle the... What do you mean by shuffle then? Shuffle means we change the nurse to another family. Oh, I see, okay. Yeah. So, so, after three months, uh, automatically I'll get another one? No, no. No. See, when, the, when you get the nurse, uh, after she finishes two months at your place, you have to send a uh, re-registration. Just send an application okay. saying that you would like to continue with us right, okay. for another three months. Okay. Only after that we consider the case. But I am very comfortable with this uh, nurse who has come and she is doing an excellent job. Uh, by the time another one comes and I have to train her and do all that, it takes a lot of time, isn't it? Yes, you are right. But see what happened, this is for the betterment of the nurse and the betterment of the patient. Because the mo the longer period the nurse is there, she becomes more attached and the patient also becomes more attached to the nurse. And then it's very difficult to, you know, to detach them from each other. Oh, okay. Right. And also for the betterment of the health of the nurse. Sometimes Fine. when the uh, patient is uh, dementia, so she has to be like 24 hours. And uh, so she doesn't get a proper rest. Okay, and okay. so that's the reason. Uh, we This we have done af only after consulting a senior doctors. Okay, tell me one thing. Now, as far as the student is concerned, how does this help the student in terms of her profession? What is her future growth? What happens to this nurse? Does she have to do this for the rest of her life? Uh, I mean, continuing yeah. the uh, uh, as a home nurse. As a home nurse? No, no. She can go for a higher study if okay. she is interested. So that means it is not only 10th standard, it is also 12th and also graduates who yes, uh, yes. enroll in your institute. Yes, yes. So normally what do they do? They go for nursing or they go for normally uh, they go for counseling nursing. or what? They go for nursing. Nursing, okay. Yeah. okay. I'll just say one word. Yeah. Like uh, as you said, after they do this, maybe internship or after working one year with us, we pay them a good salary and if they work on a weekly off day, Additionally, they get 500 and uh, they work as a professional nurse in the home because they don't do cooking, they don't do washing, just looking after one patient, okay? okay? And uh, they save the full salary and when they go to the private hospitals, they, minim they just pay them maybe just 2,000 or 4,000. Only 2,000 in yes. today's world? We have, in, as for me, I personally interviewed my nurses who have, after working with us, who joined the hospitals. And this is what we got. 2,000 and 4,000? Yes. I mean, that's, the, that's not even the minimum wage? It, not even for their transport and to, you know, to have their food. I don't know whether you know this, Anna, but private home nursing services, <coughs> yes. you know they charge how much? Do you know? 
eighteen thousand rupees. Yes, I know, I know. So you charge only eleven thousand. These people are charging eighteen thousand. Yes. And you think somebody will go to work for these people for two thousand and four thousand? It's not right. Something is wrong somewhere. I don't know, but it is. It is definitely unfair for having learned all this and uh, yeah, then. Okay, having said that, you said about scripture, start the day with scripture and all. That means this is only for Catholic homes, is uh, it? No. Uh, we have uh, student, uh, Hindu students, Muslim students. So it is going very well. Very well, yeah. Praise God. Wonderful, wonderful. Now, you say you are running for almost 12 years now. Right. How many families have you serviced today? Uh, 1,500. Wow. Yes. Wow. And uh, what has been the feedback, the report back? Very positive. And we never advertise this service. Like people, by word of mouth, they just tell other families and they come. And sometimes even I tell them, like they ask me how long we have to wait to get the nurse. I said, maybe three months, four months or more than that. But they say, okay, even we have to wait for six months, we'll wait for Karitas nurses. Uh, you know, uh, you mentioned something about what they have to do and therefore uh, they can kind of like their job. Like for example, their job is only to look after that one yeah, patient. One patient yeah. Look after all his needs, don't have to cook, don't have to wash clothes, nothing. They, yeah, they prepare lighter diet, for uh -huh. example, soup, uh, porridge maybe, and tea. Okay, yeah. so that they have to do. Yes, okay. yes. But Main course they don't they do. They don't do. So somebody else has to do that. Yes, even they provide for others. That means you yourself have been in this field for more than 12 years. 12 years. Yeah. Okay. What has been your personal experience on this? If it is not a personal question, don't answer. But can you share your experience with yes, us? Yes, sure. Yeah. Uh, I'm very enriched by working and doing this service. As for me, I feel that this was a call for me. Uh, before joining to this service, I was doing my contemplation in deep prayers. And suddenly I got a message saying that this uh, I have to do this work. And um, it, uh, then I just, uh, you know, I just started this work with two nurses, with just two nurses. And uh, I have really enriched with this experience. And I have many, to, well, lots to share. Each day is a miracle for me. Like, for example, when I go to do a home study, as I told you earlier, like when I go first time to do the home study, I see patients just lying on the bed. They don't talk or don't even say anything. And the family also like very disappointed sometimes with the patient. And then when I allot the nurse, and after my, after allotting the nurse, the nurse is there for three months. So I go and do my home, again I visit the nurse and the patient just to see the service, how it is going on. Whether the patients are happy with our service, and the nurse also is happy. And when I go there, I, I, I myself feel very this, you know. To see the patient, they sit, they chat with, the, chat with me, they dance with the nurse, and it's really a successful each time I go and visit this. So what you're saying, in, in other words, the training you give is absolutely Perfect. to the point, perfect, yes, yes. and they have achieved a standard of success. Right. Fantastic, right. well done indeed. Now. If I heard you right, or did I, I did I ask you this question? How many students do you take every year? Forty. But forty is not enough for Goa, you know that. Yes, we have uh, double affiliations. Earlier we used to have only twenty, uh -huh. and from two thousand eleven we got a double affiliation. Tell me honestly, how many people are on the wait list for this service? And nearly fifty of them. That's what I'm saying. So what are you doing with only yes. forty? Why don't you increase your number or it's open another institute? No, it's very difficult to get admissions in Goa. Very oh, difficult. Okay, yeah, okay. yeah. But uh, still, uh, there is need for expansion. Yes, yes. So, what is your expansion plan? Uh, Sixty students per but year. But if you are not getting them, how are you going to do it? Uh, God will provide. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 no, I, I fully believe that you are right. Yes. There is nothing like trusting God, and God does provide. Yes, he does provide yes, always. Yes. So keep keep up to that. Yes. Keep up to that trust and that faith. Yes. And I'm sure yes. your work, which is going on for 12 years, will go into another 12 years with yes. greater success. Yes. I wish you well. Yes. And please, please help our community because there are lots of old people who need help. 
and there are not enough takers yes. from your from your home. Yes. So we need more people. Please yes. help us. Yes. Okay. Sure. Thank you very much. Yes. God bless. I just want to say a small please, please, go ahead. poem which I have composed oh, wow. based on my work. Oh. Okay. Each time you trust God, each time you dream, each time you touch the patient or dress their wounds, you see God's image in them, then life becomes beautiful, so filled with miracles. We love, we care is our motto. In God we trust to serve sick and elders. God's mercy and compassionate love we share. The heart of Caritas Goa is happier when it beats for others. Wonderful, wonderful. Praise God. Beautiful. So uh, young uh, girls and guys, if you want a profession to help others, especially our senior citizens, think about it and you will have the benefit of listening to this beautiful poem once again and reaching out to people and you will see God in them. Thank you very much, Anna. That was yes, beautiful. thank have you so day. much for God giving me this opportunity right. to share my experience. Wonderful. God bless yes, you. Yes, thank you.